I'm Ryan Hendricks, and I am exploring the Descent Walrus Pedal. Deep reverbs. One thing I really like about this reverb is just I really don't hear any distortion. Like it doesn't distort as yeah. it's coming out. That's a big plus, especially the lower end doesn't distort. It has a really mellow, uh, low frequency register, which is great. Because a lot of the guitar, just like the, you know, the guitar pedals that you play live and stuff, they're crap-tastic. My, my chain, I usually start with the bass pod uh, for the guitar to give me sort of a, a lot of the basic dry guitar tone. And then it goes into the Z-Vex uh, Fuzz Factory for Fuzz Distortion. And then we're going into the Descent. And uh, with the Descent right now, like I don't really knit, like I'm just kind of like playing with it so I don't really zoom in on it. But one of the things that I'm really interested in is how reverbs handle a lot of distortion. So when you're playing like like, for instance, like I like to have octave distortion. But a lot of our sounds that we do are bass sounds that have reverb on it. So I'm always trying to figure out like how to get it to where it punches, but at the same time isn't just too thin. It's just like too simple of a, a signal. So um, I'm trying to wash it out a little bit, but figure out where I want that mixed dry sound to sit. What I love about this pedal is the fact that you can control your dry and wet. Because most pedals that what, what you have, what you're dealing with in most pedals is you're gonna have where the, the dry and wet signal is one switch. So when you're adjusting it, you don't really have enough control. Like if you really like how long the wetness is, but as you start to dial back, you start to lose aspects of it. So I think that's one of the best features of this pedal.